Hey everybody, it's Chris Pyle with Champion Solutions Group. Today I'm with Wes Talbert, Principal Architect Cloud Infrastructure with NetApp. Hey, Wes, thanks, thanks a lot for coming, man. Thank you, thank you. Really excited about the new announcement about the you know the NetApp HCI. Uh, really exciting about the you know the announcement, the architecture, everything I've been reading about it. Um, one of the key things I think that were really interesting for you guys first foray into this market, right. you know, Gartner named you guys the NetApp HCI is an evolutionary disruptor. Uh, not bad way to come out right out of the chute. So can you maybe tell us, you know, what about this evolutionary disruptor? What, what makes it so evolutionary? Sure. So what makes it so evolutionary is if you look at all of the hyper-converged platforms, uh, they've all gone with a shared core architecture between the storage and the compute. Right. And the challenge around that is, at enterprise scale, you begin to have performance issues. Mm -hmm. So we went a different path. What we did is we actually separated where compute and storage use separate cores within the architecture. This allows us to protect the performance of the environment overall and have better growth, not to mention lower licensing costs over time and scale. Mm, that's important, especially the lower licensing costs. It is. I got it you. Is. Um, so just you know, upfront, what's the key difference though, would you say, between what you guys just came out with with HCI, you know, versus the others in this space right now? What do you think the key differences are? Well, you know, one of them would be our quality of service. So NetApp acquired SolidFire in yep. December of 2015. You remember that acquisition sure. of yep. about $870 million. And what SolidFire's Element OS gives us is quality of service via 10 gig iSCSI at the individual volume layer. Mm. So for us, what that means in terms of performance for NetApp HCI is our ability to guarantee the performance for all the workloads. Right. And so there's actually a white paper we put out, I guess it was October or November of 2017, where we put VDI, MongoDB, and Microsoft SQL, so two different types of databases plus VDI, on the same hyper-converged infrastructure on NetApp HCI. And we were able to keep the performance appropriate for everybody within all those varying workloads in that mixed tenant, tenant environment, all together perfectly running. Hmm. Now here's the catch. Okay. Most of those other HCI solutions in the industry, heck, all of the other HCI solutions in the industry, they don't do that at all. What they'll do instead is they'll deploy separate islands because they can't holistically let these mixed workloads reside together due to performance issues that will occur. So it's really exciting for us to be able to give the customer true enterprise scale HCI that supports that multi-tenant mixed workload environment. Hmm. Excellent, excellent. Um, another question that keeps coming up, you know, that we see in the marketplace. So with your other competitors, we're not going to name them, but you know, some of the challenges that we've heard is that, hey, I'm running out of uh, compute right. and they have to buy a whole new stack. That's right. right. How is yours different, which I think a lot of our audience is really going to appreciate this. How is yours different where instead of having to buy a whole new stack, even though you just need more compute, uh, you know, how is yours different? So there's a few key points there, right? If you look at what Gartner said when they called us an evolutionary disruptor, a lot of that had to do with the fact that we have the storage and the compute cores physically separate. Now what that means for us is that our customers can purchase storage or compute and then scale it independent within our architecture. Now what's further, if you look at the compute node offerings within our solution and the storage node offerings within our solution, both of them have a mix in terms of IOPS to capacity on the storage side and memory to cores on the compute okay. side. So it almost feels like for the customer, as they add the compute and the storage nodes, they're scaling these four variables completely independent, right? Mm -hmm. Because of those mixtures therein. So it's really exciting from that standpoint. And it's a part of how we achieve, achieve true enterprise scale. But what's more, and this is very interesting, what if your customer today, they're in a situation where they just refresh their compute? Sure. They just refresh their compute. Hopefully, they just refresh their compute with Champion. Mm -hmm. All right. That's helpful. And those those compute nodes in their in their compute environment for the virtualization, let's say they're 18 to 24 more months before they're fully depreciated. Well, as a result of that, they can't toss them out early and do a greenfield HCI deployment. But with NetApp HCI, you can implement a NetApp HCI. Just do two compute nodes within the initial configuration. Do the rest as all storage. Present iSCSI 10 gig volumes guaranteeing quality of service on every one of those volumes to the external hosts that they purchased from you previously. They're not fully depreciated, right? So what they end up with is your legacy compute, we'll call it the legacy compute, okay. 
the two new compute nodes within the new infrastructure, the shared storage therein, and then as those nodes from their previous implementation begin to fully depreciate from an accounting perspective, right? So this is a business conversation, sure, sure. not a technical conversation. Mm -hmm. Then you can add more compute and you simply V-motion the compute side over. Obviously the storage is already there. Wow. So what it means is if they just bought all that compute from you, on, let's use uh, NetFHCI as the storage in row, implement it more storage focused and compute focused, and then over time we can slowly migrate. Migrate it over. Which is a beautiful conversation I have. It's much different than these greenfield conversations that all of our competitors have in the HCI space. Which is like sort of like a rip and replace type of motion. That's right. And nobody wants that, right? No. If I buy the compute, I want to leverage the compute as far as I can. Yeah, that's really, really interesting. So, you know, speaking from the business perspective, it's great technology. We talked about that. But, you know, for the audience, what workloads do you see HCI really dominating in? What, what business cases do you see uh, HCI really, you know, doing well in? So, for us specifically as NetApp HCI, the, our ability to do multi-tenant mixed workloads and guarantee the performance for everyone means that we can be that one-stop shop for that private cloud type of architecture okay. where you bring in all of these tenants. And that's great for us, much different than the other solutions where they'll implement an island strictly for VDI, then a separate island for general compute, then yet another island, right, that they may use for their test and death. So we don't want to put you into a point solution. You can actually guarantee the performance that's no matter right. what the workload and run multi-tenancy that's right. At the same time. So it's That's right. unlike others who would talk a lot about, well, yeah, this is a great point solution. Buy a stack for this VDI solution or, yes. or for this. You're saying with your technology that, you know, basically any business case. Are you going to run like a high OLTP, you know, online transaction processing d database off of it as well? So, you know, potentially you could, <clears throat> but, and, and this is a part of what's so exciting about being a part of NetApp specifically. You look at some of these other players and they're a one-trick pony. This is all they've got to pitch, right? Right. But for us, it's different. It's beautiful because what if somebody comes to me and they say, hey, I need OLTP. I need, I need a million IOPS on a single volume. Well, in that situation, none of the HCI solutions, none, none of ours, yes. would be the right one. Right. But for us at NetApp, because we have this holistic, this entire portfolio that we can leverage, we can bring something else to bear for them, mm -hmm. whatever they're looking for. Right, I gotcha, yeah. So let me just ask you, I know we spoke about this and we're just you know, coming to the end of this interview here, but I was reading how easy this thing is to deploy. How, what, you know, I mean, how easy really is it to deploy? It is easy. So for us, the deployment process usually looks like about 45 to 50 minutes. Typically what you do is ahead of time we'll send the customer this spreadsheet where you go through these different IPs and subnet information. You'll collect all the details ahead of time. After you get everything rack, stack, and ping, you go through a menu and you punch in all of those different IP addresses, all the DNS, that sort of thing. Do I need to build a fresh vCenter? Am I going to join their existing vCenter? And then you go through all that. You say, looks good, let's go. Come back 45 minutes later. You have a fully functioning turnkey NetApp HCI solution running VMware vCenter with vMotion enabled nice. right out of the gates for lazy. So it comes with a nice cookbook. Uh, there, it champions does. here to help, of course, to you know get the thing set up and uh, implemented properly. Now it's installed, up, running. What does it take from a management standpoint? How streamlined is it? How have you brought everything together from a single you know management perspective? How is that? So for us, the management is great because what we've used for the management of NetApp HCI is we're actually just using the SolidFire vCenter plugin, and this is important the SolidFire vCenter plugin that we've had around for many years to manage SolidFire in any existing VMware environment. And the reason I'm bringing that up is, of course, we're in the first uh, nine months, right, yeah. since our ship date, but the plugin that really orchestrates everything has been around for years, so we know that we can trust it. We know it functions great at scale. And what's more is our ability to plug in with other solutions. So case in point, we can back up to S3 buckets in the mm -hmm. cloud natively with NetApp HCI. Nice. We can deploy ONTAP Select as a VM into a NetApp HCI. Picture, if you will, you've got a call center. You need a small data center box at that call center. So we implement a small NetApp HCI for that. But within it, we have it deploy 
a VNAS, on tap select as nice. a VNAS within it. So we've got local NAS capabilities there at that call center. But then you point that on tap select that's running in that NetApp HCI back to your on tap investment at your primary data center. Which means that this is not some island of a solution. It functions with the rest of the customer's investment as they bought FAS and AFF, any on tap based technologies through Champion mm -hmm. and deployed them elsewhere, right? So it's not just a a one-trick pony, if you will. And if this was a customer's first foray into the NetApp family, from a management standpoint, they didn't have any of the on-tap you know, stuff in the past, maybe this is their first foray into it, does the manage, how does the management tools work? Will it work with any of their existing management tools? Is it standalone? How does that work? So all of our management is within vCenter. Okay. So it's we like didn't vCenter. elect to push for a separate management Smart. console. Yeah, good. Keeping it all in vCenter, you know, and, and here's the real beauty. You know, I've managed people for, for a point in my career in the past, and what I really found was hard is when you've got to backfill an opportunity, backfill in your organization, and you're looking for a specific skill set, it's really tough. Well, for us, because all of our management is native within vCenter, and at this point in the in the it's IT pervasive. market, it's, it's everywhere, yeah. right? Yeah. It's easy for me to find somebody to manage that environment as opposed to some niche Smart. console that they've got to be trained on, yep. right? Not to mention that it increases their flight risk to go somewhere else after you invest mm -hmm. on having them trained, right? Trust you me, I've heard that, and I do feel <laughs> you on that. Well, listen, it's been great. i um, looking forward to you know getting more engaged with it. And everybody out there, thank you very much for tuning in and look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank you.